What do you think the brother of Cyclops is like? Welcome to Origins. We go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to be continuing Mutant Mondays by talking about the brother of Scott Summers, Alex Summers, known simply as Havoc. Alex Summers' beginnings are tied to the leader of the X-Men, Cyclops, because, like I said earlier, they are brothers. The two of them were raised in Anchorage, Alaska as a part of a military family, and when on a flight with their parents, Christopher and Catherine Summers, they were attacked by the mysterious Shi'ar spacecraft. The two brothers used the only remaining parachute to escape the airplane, and it exploded, presumably killing their parents. After surviving the incident, the two brothers were sent to an orphanage in Omaha, Nebraska, where they were looked over by Mr. Milbury, one of the many aliases for Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister felt that Scott had more potential as a mutant, so he sent his younger brother Alex off to another home, where he was adopted by Andrew and Joanne Blanding. Scott and Alex would not have contact with each other for some time, and the Blandings would use Alex as a replacement for their own murdered son. And in a strange turn of events, the killer came back and kidnapped the new son, Alex, along with his foster sister. However, during the traumatic event, Alex's mutant powers sparked, which incinerated the kidnapper. Mr. Sinister then appeared and was shocked by this development, realizing that Alex's power far surpassed that of Scott's. However, Alex could not control his mutant ability to absorb and unleash power, which he could at first only do in highly stressful situations. Sinister then abandoned Alex again, but not before he wiped the memories of Alex and his foster sister. Years later, Alex lived a seemingly normal life, and then he met his brother Scott once again at his college graduation. While Alex knew nothing of his brother's affiliation with the X-Men or of himself even being a mutant, that illusion would not last when a man known as the Living Pharaoh attacked the X-Men while they were visiting Alex. During their first encounter, stress triggered Alex's mutant power and it allowed the X-Men to defeat the Living Pharaoh, though he did escape. They suddenly realized that Alex had mutant powers, but he couldn't control them. This began a series of adventures with his brother Cyclops and the X-Men, which notably led to his capture by the son of Dr. Trask, Larry Trask, who manufactured more Sentinels to combat the mutants. While Larry Trask had Alex Summers captured, he crafted for him a special suit that would control his mutant powers, and he gave him the pet name Havoc. Eventually, the X-Men would show up and free Havoc, and he joined the X-Men back at Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters, which is where he would continue to learn how to control his wildly unstable mutant powers. This is how Alex rejoined his brother and became one of the many X-Men. Havoc truly lives up to his codename because of his incredible power. His mutation allows him to absorb ambient energy, which comes from heat and cosmic radiation. After absorbing mass quantities of energy, he can project them out in the form of a powerful and destructive plasma blast. However, he has a hard time controlling the energy inside of him, so he has a special suit that allows him to harness and hold back his power in order to keep him from losing control. It should also be noted that he is immune to Cyclops' concussion blasts, and Cyclops is immune to Havoc's plasma blasts. It makes for some rather interesting sibling rivalries. So there you have it folks, the origin of another of the Summers Brothers. Now you might be wondering who the third one is, but you'll have to tune into a future video to get the scoop on that. So what do you think of Havoc? Are you impressed by his mutant powers? Is he deserving of his own stories? He's currently the leader of the Uncanny Avengers, so you can check out stories about him right now. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and until next time, remember to cry Havoc.